So hi and welcome. I'm just going to be doing a quick kind of overview of my settings here for OBS. Uh, I generally play FPS and some static games and stream through Twitch. So as you can see at the top here, this is OBS Studio. It's 64 bit and it's 15.4, released 2016, August ish, I think. You can see on the right here, you've got all the scenes and sources. I'm not going to go through these. These are what I generally use, although this isn't my actual streaming PC. These are the settings though. Um, Studio introduced the new phase scene. Um, if you go into the settings here, you've got your general basic settings. I don't change anything here. This is my default for the minute. Then we've got the streaming settings for Twitch. You can put in your key here. And we also get down from the service some other streaming services. I will be doing a video on multi-streaming, so keep your eyes out for that. And I'll show you how to do that as well. Quite easy. Show you different types. You've got custom here. You can use this for something like NG Nix if you want to um, push out your RTM feed to it. And use nginx then to distribute it and it depends how you're doing it or you can just go direct to twitch as it was showing first my output settings here for streaming so um, as you can see i'm using um cbr i'm using standard x264 not nvec i'm streaming to um, 720p as you can see how you do i use constant bitrate i've tried a few of the ones i use a two and a half meg bitrate stream a custom buffer of 5,000 with key intervals of two. Um, I do do fast encoding. Um, I'm looking to put it to medium. Um, these profile settings, I generally um, leave it off high profile because um, I, things like iPhones can't generally decode it very well, apparently. So I haven't touched that. And I use uh, no X264 settings. So my recording option for local recording at the same time, I have multiple audio feeds so I can break my audio up. Um, I record obviously direct to the PC here. Um, use X264 again. I do use 1080 for this recording sound. So I have to set a different resolution here. Uh, again, I'm using CBR and I've got a bit rate of 40,000. Uh, you can tweak around that depending on what your PC can handle. I use fast encoding with no intervals because very fast, sorry, very fast encoding. I don't use any profile or tuning because this goes direct into my video editor. Here's the different audio channels. This is where you'd set up your audio devices. Like I said, this is a different PC. I'm showing the settings on here, but I'd normally have different audio feeds in there. I can show you that, my multi-stream setup. Um, if you want to, though, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll show you that. Um, use 60 FPS. I use Lycos as the downscale filter. Hotkeys, I'm not going to show you these, but you can set some up to start and stop your stream if you wanted to. I use F2 and F1. Um, and then the advanced options here. Um, I've left default bar, color format, color space, and color range fit to full. 709 and um, they're not that the half I think as the default zone so that's my OBS streaming settings like I say if you want to see another one um, showing my full multi stream setup because I use two PCs to encode um, and stream at the same time um, I can also show you how to do multi stream feeds if you want to see that um, but yeah hit like and subscribe I'll see that you're liking these videos let me know in the comments what else you want me to show you um, to do with OBS and we'll take it from there Thanks for watching, don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye bye.